Meghan Markle's brother has said he hopes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's royal baby will bring his estranged family together. Thomas Markle Jr., 51, said he is thrilled that his younger sister is pregnant with her first child as he described the royal couple's announcement on Monday as bittersweet. Meghan's older half-brother, who found out the baby news through friends, revealed his sadness that he might not ever meet his new niece or nephew. The father of two said, It's a little bittersweet because of all that's been going on but I hope our family can be involved in his or her life. It is really awesome and massive congratulations to them. It's a big deal and I'm still processing the news. Mr. Markle Jr., a window fitter, also expressed his hope that his father Thomas Markle would be involved in his grandchild's life. It comes after Meghan and Prince Harry's official royal baby announcement through Kensington Palace made no mention of the Duchess' estranged father, instead revealing her mother Doria Ragland was very happy about the lovely news. Mr. Markle Jr. said, I'm sure my dad is extremely overjoyed and extremely happy. Meghan is the most important thing in his life, so I truly hope my dad is there to witness it and be part of it. Meghan's father Thomas Markle, who recently admitted to using cocaine in the past, is at the center of a very public feud with his daughter, the royal family's newest member, after he failed to attend her royal wedding due to health implications. And father and daughter have reportedly not spoken since then after he and several other Markle family members have given a series of explosive interviews where he has blasted his daughter and the royal family, comparing them to a cult. But the 74-year-old, who reportedly didn't receive the royal baby news directly, is said to have written Meghan a letter telling her she will be a great mum. In a sly dig to the royal family, his son Mr. Markle Jr. said it was important that Meghan and Harry's baby is in contact with family members outside of the UK. He added, I think the baby needs to know that there's family out here, not just the immediate family there in the UK. Most of all my dad should be there though. This makes him a grandfather six times over. But I'm sure this would mean a lot more to my dad than all the rest. Mr. Markle Jr. said his father absolutely has to be involved in this, adding, I hope it brings my dad back to her because I know how much it means to him and I know how he's feeling right now about the whole thing and I know he's really sad because he got pushed off to the side as well just like everybody else. It would be wonderful to see them close again, you know. It comes after Meghan's half-sister Samantha Markle said she hoped the new baby would be an opportunity to heal the rifts in the family. Kensington Palace announced on Monday Meghan and Prince Harry are expecting their first child amid their first royal tour to Australia, New Zealand, Donga, and Fiji. The Duchess of Sussex is believed to be 12 weeks pregnant, finally putting to bed rumours and speculation that have been building for months. The baby is due next spring. There's no denying that Duchess Meghan is a style icon, but her latest look could suggest more than just good fashion sense. In fact, some people are speculating that the way Meghan has worn her hair at recent royal engagements means she's actually pregnant. That would be one way to make a dramatic reveal. For her last few public appearances, Meghan has worn her hair down and straight, a departure from her usual flowing waves and low bun. While the new style looks stunning on the 37-year-old, it's come at a time where rumors are rife around whether she's pregnant, and this only fuels them. The reasoning? Kate Middleton has previously changed her hairstyle right before she's announced her pregnancies, with thoughts that the change in style on top will draw attention away from the rest of her body, and more specifically her growing tum. What's more? Kate's sister Pippa Middleton also employed the technique before her baby announcement, exchanging her longer dresses for a lob haircut. This seriously thickens the Is Meghan Pregnant? plot. It's not the only hint we've heard that the Duchess of Sussex might be expecting. Earlier in September, TV psychic Sally Morgan predicted that Meghan would be pregnant before the end of the year. While some may choose not to believe it, Sally does have some credibility to her former predictions. She correctly called the genders of Will's and Kate's three children before they were born. Spookily, she also predicted that Meghan wouldn't walk down the aisle with her mother, Doria, at her wedding. 
Meghan indeed ended up walking down the aisle with Charles. Meghan's clothing choices of late have also had people questioning whether she's hiding a growing bump. Earlier this month, the Duchess attended a gala concert named 100 Days to Peace wearing a blue Jason Wu dress with strategically placed ruffles down the front. Furthermore, this week she wore a peplum Oscar de Laurenti blouse, a popular style for pregnant women. Whether she's pregnant or not at this very minute is anyone's guess, but we know that the royal newlyweds are definitely keen to start a family, Harry said it himself in their official engagement interview. With all of this in mind, we'll be on High Royal Bump Watch Alert, stay tuned. Today, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made an appearance at the Coach Corps Awards at Loughborough University, and on top of looking as great as always, Meghan was sporting something completely new. Her hair, which she usually wears curly or in a bun, was pinned straight, with, it looks like, some V-fresh layers. Take a look. Because I am a journalist and I care about these things, I combed through 60-plus pages of the latest pictures of Meghan and found she hasn't worn her hair like this since at least before her wedding to Prince Harry. This is her usual style. You may be thinking. What's the big deal about this? So the girl changed her hair. But, there's something important to note here. When Kate Middleton announced her third pregnancy, one reporter noticed a very subtle pattern. And the internet latched on, using pictures as evidence. Here's Kate about two months before her most recent pregnancy reveal, looking totally normal. Taking it back a little further, here she was in the summer of 2014 two months before the news of baby Charlotte was announced. Totally normal hair. The signature style. But here's a photo of her just one month before the Charlotte news hit, and media pointed out that she was embracing her roots more than ever. I mean, it's possible she just skipped a colorist appointment and this was totally unintentional, but it could still be part of a pattern. Here's the most compelling evidence of all. One month before the Prince George news, Kate was wearing her perfectly blown out brown curls as per usual. But then, only a week or two before they announced the pregnancy, she shocked the world by getting bangs. Bangs are not subtle. People were so preoccupied that the announcement of Prince George's existence on December 3 was a slight shock to the masses. Technically this is all just a fun internet theory and no one from the palace has confirmed this in regards to Kate or Meghan. It's possible it's a totally coincidental trend. So, Meghan is not pregnant yet, but the haircut and style change is definitely going to keep the internet busy for the foreseeable future. Meghan Markle has lavished praise on the man in her life that has given her the key to eternal happiness, and it isn't Prince Harry. The 37-year-old wife of the Duke of Sussex said the key to happiness was all down to a mysterious yoga guru called Light. Gushing over the yoga practitioner, Meghan revealed in a post from her now-defunct lifestyle blog the TIG that she was a practitioner of Vedic meditation and this was something she had learned from a man called Light Watkins. The Duchess said that having practiced the form of silent meditation after chatting with Mr. Watkins over a dinner in L.A., it had simply made her just happier. She told readers of the 2015 blog post, yes, his name is Light. This is L.A. after all. She then went on to say that Mr. Watkins became the quietude that rocked my world. Megan also shared tips for her avid readers on how to get the best experience from Vedic Yoga a form of quiet yoga that she admitted she found daunting initially. She said you should let the act of meditating become synonymous with both noticing your breathing and getting lost in your thoughts. Encouraging others to try it, Megan added, the worst thing that can happen is that you gave yourself 10 minutes of quiet in an endlessly loud world. The TIG was a blog Megan started before she married Prince Harry in a lavish Windsor wedding on May 19. Meghan had worked several acting jobs in her native America before becoming the Duchess of Sussex. Among many things she was an actress in the TV program Suits, a briefcase girl in the American version of Deal or No Deal, an extra in a Tori Amos music video, a nurse in another TV program called General Hospital and she also appeared in a dramatic episode of CSI, and why? 
the drama should have ended when her television career did, yet this weekend it continued when her angry half-sister Samantha appeared to randomly show up in the UK to confront the Duchess in a showdown. The 53-year-old repeatedly lashed out at Meghan in a series of Twitter attacks and television interviews, accusing her of neglecting their father, Thomas Markle, who was exposed for faking paparazzi pictures for cash in the run-up to Meghan's wedding. Samantha arrived in London yesterday having planned her trip to meet Meghan and discuss Mr. Markle's apparent ill health. Though Meghan is yet to meet with her half-sister.